All right, so we're going to expand on our last screen, our last screencast on error bars, and I'm going to show you how to put the maximum and minimum slopes uh, in order to find the error in the slope, because that's a lot easier to evaluate than a lot of a lot of calculations. So I'm going to show you how to use Logger Pro to use your error bars to make that uncertainty, so that you can evaluate the slopes of the line, okay, or the main slope of the line, which you see on the screen right now. So first thing we have to do is we got to make a new data set. Right? So I'm going to go up to data, new data set, and you'll see a new one pop up in our graph, in our table here. So what we want to do is we want to graph to find the maximum error in the slope. Okay, We want to graph that spot right there, Okay, which as you can see will be our first point minus its error. Ver uh, horizontally and our first point minus its error okay vertically okay and also we're going to focus on the last point and we're going to do our last point plus and plus uncertainty so we're going to add the uncertainty in the x and y to the last point and subtract the uncertainty for the x and y to the first point okay so let's go back a little bit and let's look so our first point is 1.1 .1. I want to subtract the uncertainty for this one. Now we made the uncertainty, if you come over from the last screencast, we made it 0.2 in the x, so I'm going to change, so my point should be 0.8. Okay, and then it was uh, 0.01, so that should be 0.09. Okay, now if you remember, I subtracted the error from my original data point. You can see you got a little green spot where it should be. That little green square should show up right in the right place after it's done. Now, all these points in the middle don't really matter. We only need the first and the last. Again, since we're trying to find the maximum, the last point, I want to add the uncertainty to it. Okay, so I got 10.2, and also I want to add the error to that one. Okay, you notice, and we got it right in the right place. All right, so then what I'm going to do now that I have it is I'm going to draw a trend line using the linear fit. So I just click on the linear fit, fit tool in the toolbar, and then we're only working with data set two because I already have my slope for data set one. Okay, so I'll check that one. And look, there you go. And if you notice, I have a slope of 0 0.0979. Okay. So it's actually a little less than okay it's actually a little less all right sorry lost my train of thought there so let's do the same thing and let's do the other one now, the other one's going to go from this spot right here right there so we're going to subtract the horizontal and we're going to add the vertical error for the first one. And then we're going to do over here. on the first one, I'm sorry, excuse me, the last point, we're going to add the horizontal but subtract the vertical. Okay, so we're going to do the opposite to those two. So this data set, I want to again, I want to subtract my horizontal. I want to add my vertical this time. Okay. And then I also would like to, for this point up here, I want to add horizontal, subtract my vertical. Now sometimes if you notice, and I didn't get any points to show up, to make sure I double check that, I just click on my label for the y-axis, okay, and if I click on more, I'll be able to pick, see my third data says unchecked, I can check on that. But I want to only check the position because I'm trying to graph that on the y-axis. Okay, so if you, if you do that correctly, you'll see that 
the position for data 2 is checked, the position for data set 3 is checked, and position for data set 1 is checked. It should be consistent. I'm going to do that. There we go. And as I forgot before, I need to take the error bars off. Okay, so there are quite a few steps to this. That's what I'm doing as a screencast. You can always go back and check. All right. And you notice my error bars are gone. So now I want to make a linear fit for those. And I only want to do it for the third set. And what, what went wrong? So something's not right with our graph. Because you can see... Oh, I, should, I know what it is. This should be 1.09. Ah, I made a mistake. All right, so let's quick correct that. Oops. Again, I made another mistake. Okay. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries. It should be only at 1.01. What it should be. I'm not having a good time with this, aren't I? There we go. Okay, it took a couple tries, but I got it. So you can see that you have three grip, three uh, slopes of lines available to you. The first one, data set one, is your data. Okay, so that's the trend for your data. Okay. Data set two. Are the green the green points and those are your maximum error and then the diamonds are your minimum error so you can use these okay to your advantage and you can start looking at things like for example are all your points um, usable are they all valid are there any outliers okay how does the error bars af uh, affect whether your data is valid or not is there a correlation? Isn't there one? Okay, based on the data and the way those lines fall, those um, trend lines, we give you a lot to work with. Okay, so we're going to work on that in a different screencast. This was all just about showing you how to just put the trend lines on the graph. Okay, so it is a little cumbersome, uh, but it will be useful in the long run. All right.